Hello, hello, here we are yet again. Today we are playing the Talos Principle. Also, I've forgotten how to turn on the sound. Here we are. Ha <laughs> ha! How's everybody doing today? Figure we do something a little more relaxed. Lean back. Solve a puzzle or two. Also, I put some thought into it. I think I found how to get that star. But we'll, we'll dance around here. Let me finish this. Did we not learn anything? I mean, shoot. Trust me, you should have seen me at work. I didn't learn anything from yesterday's, uh, you know, actual work issues. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Happy Friday. Yeah, I mean, I know it's right off the butt of my vacation, but a, uh, it's going to be nice kind of having, you know, two days off. Two days of work, two days off. And then we'll get back in the swing of things. All right, so we have this little functioner here that I don't know how it works. Uh, some of these challenges must be designed with cooperation in mind, but I'm the only one here. I see. Alright, but, a hey, uh, yeah, kind of excited. Uh, been doing a lot of reading about, like, D&D &D stuff, because that's another thing I'm kind of working on, is, uh, getting back in the swing of D&D, &D, even though we're short one person. <laughs> I don't understand how this works. Going to be starting some mutants and masterminds. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've not actually messed around with that that much. The, uh, son of a bitch. All right. Mutants and masterminds. Is that a, uh, is that kind of an older system or? So I just got to give myself a second here. I think I solved the puzzle. Wait, what? I've made a grievous error. But yeah, pretty interesting. I mean, uh, mutants and mastermind. Is that is that the one where a uh, you're actually superheroes? Oh, okay. That's third, fourth edition. Nice. So pretty customizable. Let me tell me, how does Doctor Turbo Badass Man do it? Do his business. What's his superpower? Easy enough. 
I think I've heard of a game like this before. Very customized world that can come up with some pretty complex powers if you put effort into it. Nice. Are you just playing it or are you actually running the game as a GM? Nice. There's two stars on this level. Player? Nice. All right, well, give me a walkthrough if you feel comfortable. Like, what kind of a uh, superhero you got? Or is that kind of like uh, learn through gameplay? Building hero with portal powers. Ooh, okay. Go with kind of the a uh, night crawler. Or even better yet, you basically just got a character with a portal gun. That's pretty badass and incredibly powerful if you really think about it. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. Oh, interesting. Hmm. More like Portal's game. Open the portal under the car, have a drop. <laughs> there you go. You can actually get the car flipping to terminal velocity. That's actually a... Uh, you can probably be incredibly powerful. I mean, think about it. You make a big enough portal, you can straight up, uh, you know, teleport an airplane into a, I don't know, a gymnasium. Yes. That's kind of cool. How's the uh, villains work? Are they like monsters or do you got like super bad guys? Like the supers, like the Joker and stuff. Well, I guess he's not a super, is he? Other than a super pain in the ass. Order, can you use the portals to like cut somebody in half? Like, hey, you look, somebody's halfway through and you just turn it off. Suddenly that's how you fall off the deep end. And then you got your anti-hero. Captain Homebrew. That's kinda cool. I also like the idea of like the superhero world, but it's kinda like in a fantasy world in its own way. Mess around that way. Mine, if I was going to play anybody, I'd probably just make The Alchemist. Somebody who, uh... Really? Oh. Well, this is awkward. Okay. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I figured it out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'm excited. It's awesome when you get somebody who's like got their own world a uh, being built up. Makes for some pretty cool storytelling. And you can do some pretty cool experimental stuff, too, like answering some questions. Like, what happens if, you know, what's a superhero in a post-apocalyptic world? Or what's a superhero in, like, you know, medieval times? What's a caveman superhero going to be like? Stick around here and set my hopes for On writing every wrong, but the closest I'll ever get is the words on the wall before you. Huh. Thanks, At. Wait, didn't At die? No! Yeah. Let me read that again. Her morning is falling. Sure, I could stick around here. Set my hopes on eternal life, on righting every wrong. But the closest I'll ever get is to these words on the wall before you. Interesting. So he didn't get eternal life. Okie dokes. Ah, oh boy. Redundant power supply. Oh. How do I deal with that thing? 
I able to stand in front of it? Okay, so that, I stand on one of those for a good, I don't know, 10 seconds. Then how do I do this? Oh, interesting. Okay. So, Super Village Homebrew Campaign, NPC. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's only necessary that I get five seconds to do anything. Excellent. So that does push me. Ooh. Did I have to do it twice? Well, that's annoying. How the heck am I going to do this? I need to turn both off. And then... Yeah, let's give that a shot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Give me ten seconds to figure it out. I did it. We speed ran it. <laughs> get locked in here. Interesting. And I can crawl out. I guess that achieves nothing. Hmm. Trying to think of potential star locations. You know, speaking of D&D, &D, I've been thinking of just kind of like little interesting fantasy world tropes. Healing potions in particular. And just kind of like potions in general. I've always had like a couple odd little details that seem to not make sense. Like firstly, how big is a healing potion, right? Like just a standard healing potion. Let's say, oh, I got stabbed by a knife. It really hurts. So I drink a healing potion. That stab wound's gone, right? But a, uh, yeah, I'm sure that's exactly how it responds to being stabbed. Look at the sheer scale of the pyramid. To think anybody could have built such things. But yeah, the a uh, to put really thought about it, but like, how big is a potion? Are we talking like a Gatorade or like a shot? Am I supposed to drink the whole thing, or can I just like guzzle a little bit of it? Like, what happens if my stomach stabs? Do potions not work? Can I just pour it on my face and have that be healed? What do you do about the inevitable, like, little dribbles that are uh, always in the glass that you haven't quite finished? Uh, I mean, it seems straightforward. I think it's been described through many editions of D&D as vials, which would be a test tube size. Okay. And bottles. Beaker? I mean, a beaker sounds pretty difficult to a uh, chug, though. I mean, think about it. You're sitting there. You're basically just trying to a uh, choke down, you know, some degree of potion. What are the chances that I do this? Yeah, there's no way. Unless... 
Let's keep things interesting now. Oh, that's rough. Alright, give me a cube. And I mean, it doesn't take in consideration people who can't drink either. As in drink potions. Like, let's say somebody broke my jaw. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to choke down a uh, potion if that's the case. Oh, you boogafire. Seems that mistakes are easily forgiven here. I thought I had surely died. Yet here I am. Reset, rebooted, reborn. I will tackle these challenges anew. Epitaph, Samsara, terminated here. Logic program failed to pass random memory tests. Being torn limb from limb by machines for the rest of eternity becomes less and less appealing. <laughs> Wait, Samsara died in a uh, previous one, didn't he? Or she? Ow. Oh, her rump. I don't think that was the intended solution, but I did it. But I did it. What's going on here? Why, well, there's a star there. How do we get there? Your RL questions. I'm afraid you're using your authority as D&D nerd to revoke your D&D measure. Going to have to inform anyone you play with. What? Come on now. This is a sham. I feel like the uh, real life questions just help make the D&D games deeper. More energized. <laughs> and I mean like, that's kind of the biggest question too is a uh, how immersed in the world you want to get not countering having my license revoked but yeah i mean like okay so it's awesome that you know we get all this but like what details do you put in the game how deep do you want to think about it i mean yes sometimes you want to kick down a door kill a monster it's that easy but on others like you know i kind of want to know what it's like to live in this mystical magical world of my friend's creation Be ashamed of yourself. I see. Okay. I'm in an epic land of yeah, but right now. Besides, actually, in my uh, current D and D game, I kind of a uh, I'm the GM, by the way, but a uh, I have this. I uh, came up with a alchemy system, just because you know one of my characters wanted to make potions. It's as easy as that. But at the end of the day, it's just like, well, okay. Like, how do you keep that from being super game-breaking? What's the, a, uh, you know, what's the limiter there? I mean, it could be resources. That's a limiter. But then it's like, okay, well, but you have to make the resources somewhat valuable for them to put points into it. Or not points, but skill and take the time to do it. So, okay, maybe that's a, uh, not quite the option there. So it's, I gave a choice. It's like, okay, you can have the resource choice and then you can just have the gold choice. Like, you spend gold. And the fact that my character, uh, my friend's character is a spellcaster just adds to that. 
in the fact that, you know, it's like, okay, so you just make this base, and then you can cast a spell to it, and then you get, like, a 50% chance whether it's offensive or defensive, and then it comes to the effect of the spell. And he starts experimenting with, like, mixing spells and stuff like that, and it turned out to be incredibly interesting. He's got some pretty crazy potions out there. It's my thinking hop. Let's see out here. I mean, in reality, I wouldn't need a third box here, right? Otherwise, how am I getting over this wall? Is there a low point? Can I wedge my... Go on. I'm upset that I can't climb this tree. grant access here then alternatively a downside to a uh, my current campaign is I made the mistake that uh, the main enemies that they're fighting against are weak against fire and lo and behold one of our characters is uh, just the progenitor of all fire so like you wouldn't like you think the spell fireballs balls pretty powerful right but try to just add double damage to that it's like you know what just nothing survives <laughs> i tried to counter that that uh some of the characters actually like you know also gained the weakness to fire but i mean they get a lot of advantages for sure but it's not enough everybody just keeps dying all the enemies and then power scaling from there is pretty difficult it's true. It's true. I mean, and part of it's like, I don't hate that they take the opening. It's just, it's difficult to make a game, you know, difficult and engaging, challenging and whatnot without, you know, completely neutering their power. <laughs> Which is a big no-no. Ooh. Excuse me? I'm on this man's lap. <gasps> Go on. This is a brand new revelation. I can do a thing. Okay. I guess there's no relevant statues. Okay, I wish to stand on this man's lap. I cannot. All right, hear me out. What if... Okay, what's the craziest a, uh... I don't know, maybe not game-breaking, but a, uh, loophole that you took advantage of? All right, am I overthinking this? What's happening here? Maybe I jump onto here, jump there. It's got all kinds of parkour written on it. Like, why else would they give me two cubes unless I needed them, right?
get on this man's lap like Santa Claus, damn it. Okay. Let's try that again. I feel like I'm glitching. Yeah, I have this big elaborate plan, but it's attached with a great big, now what? And my plan is to jump on here, which I, I believe I can. This is a skill issue. Aha! Now, slowly, carefully now. I hate you. Well, this is where I live now. <laughs> Shit. Hmm, that's tough, because you never min-max characters. Plenty of other people at the table do debate it enough. Fair. Did you use minor illusion? Once makes NPC speaker as farting during a speech. <laughs> it was given to try to incite a riot. What? That's wild. So basically, every time a... Uh, Riot never happened. Well, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a riot happen due to, uh, well, due to, eh. But, uh, with, you know, just over flatulence. Like, have you ever been so upset that a, uh, somebody was farting that you felt like you wanted to incite violence on everybody around you? Like, stop farting! <laughs> no. Alright, I'm gonna look around the outside, see if we can find anything here. I suspect, though, that that star is attainable in this room. Never planned for it. Crowd couldn't stop laughing. Farce happened whenever the speaker. <laughs> I mean, it's true. And, I mean, let's be fair. A, uh, I can relate to your GM for not being able to prepare for just the most backwards nonsense the players can come up with. But come on, you gotta improvise a little bit. I think one of the craziest... I shall not allow the corruption of my garden. Be gone. Excuse me. The fuck just happened? Yeah, okay. But yeah, it's uh, one of my players. Um, they were trying to sneak, and of course, they did so in the least sneaky way possible. So they were in an underground uh, uh, area. They had to sneak up to a giant ziggurat. Um, and they had like, you know... A bunch of the priests and stuff were doing a ritual, doing some cleanup work. And, uh, you know, just doing priestly things. And uh, this genius, these geniuses decided to wa walk up to them and just say, I have important news. And, you know, and then just expect that to work. <laughs> or I have critical news, is the word he said. And of course, you know, when the inevitable question of like, well... Okay, what is it? He's like, uh, there's sighting at the sluice gate or something like that. <laughs> I have critical information. It did. And then, of course, a, uh, somebody got the great idea. Uh, we had a druid in our group. Um, he turned himself into a mouse, climbed up the clothing of this uh, pr priest and, and on, into his breastplate. And then it turns out that uh, druid can just like change their forms as many times as they want. Uh, so he decided to turn into a manatee. <laughs> and just explode out of that guy's armor. So the term suddenly manatee is apt. Okay, I see the dilemma.
Um, yeah, that's about what I expected. I'm just destroying things out of protest. New player did a really good job on getting good terms with the high-ranking member of the King's Guard. Okay. Was buying him drinks and have a good time with him. He asked the guard, hypothetically speaking, if I wanted to sneak at the castle and kill the king, how would I do that? Table went silent. He was sure that was what he wanted to ask. Player said, absolutely. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> And of course, the secret is he's inside the castle to kill the king. <laughs> I don't even know. Was that the goal? I'll try a damn blast. Now, riddle me this. <laughs> it's like, but it was hypothetical! Not how he wanted to do it, but end up working in the end. Did you? <laughs> I like that, just the absolute dismay. But I said hypothetically. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Well, that's good. <laughs> I like that. I mean, it's true. I mean, outside of a, uh, occasionally, I know some players who try to, like, barter. Or bargain, I guess is the word, but... Oh, come on now. I can see it, plain as day. I mean, yeah, but what good does that do me? If... Okay. There. <laughs> I always like kind of the uh, ass backward solutions that some people uh, come up with. Just because, I mean, like, you know, sometimes the most conventional things, eh, they get blasé after a while. You just need a little bit of chaos to kind of figure things out. Are you kidding me? A pox upon ye. But I see what you mean. I had a bard whose bardic skills came from his jokes. Told really what bad ones of us at the table swore that he was going to start having them turn into debuffs yeah that's fair i mean eventually you do have to start having like if your superpower is dad jokes i'm pretty sure i don't know if that's a superpower at all <laughs> surely this sphinx got something up its sleeve the burning heart always looks to the highest peak. Highest peak? Probably has something to do with this uh, tremendous burning laser. <laughs> I 
Did you get like a little, uh, oh shit. One of those, uh, two drums and a cymbal, Badum tish, for every time he told a joke. Badum tsh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why does that resound blue? Well, that's interesting. Broke out the cricket soundbite. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pulled out a Seinfeld track. Zing. Okay, so the very top generates a blue beam. Why? What does this accomplish? What is the blue beam? <laughs> I mean, that actually takes some cr uh, creative skill. I mean, bad jokes or no, just coming up with something to say pretty consistently on a uh, game is pretty impressive if you think about it. It's like coming up with a hundred jokes is one thing, but every game? I don't know. It's more than a little impressive. But it'll be this. Yeah, okay. Couple of plate. But what is the blue beam? Someone tells me it's on the back of the Sphinx's head. I was wanting to get my uh, wizard doctor rolling. I had this story that a uh, this character that I made, uh, based off of you know, the H.P. Lovecraft story, story Doctor Herbert West Reanimator. But I, I kind of like the uh, idea of the doctor who just kind of like you know suffers tremendous personal tragedy and then decides that it's like you know what, I'm gonna cure death, and just turns to necromancy. But more of a, in the sense of medicine instead of, like, you know, malice. Kind of wanted to break away from, like, you know, the uh, edgelord necromancer out there. Which I suppose he still is an edgelord necromancer, but still. Okay, where is the blue receptacle? We're looking around in all the likely areas. See that? I have a Feromancer. Okay. Dreadnick. That's kind of cool. So he's in. His entire uh, MO is just being spooky. I, I can dig it. Behold! The symbols of madness have come. With Dread Witch. I don't think I'm familiar with Dread Witch. What is that? Buffs fear powers, ability to bypass fear immunity. Oh, holy crap. That's cool. And it's kind of absurdly powerful if you really think about it. I don't know why I thought that would work.
Burning Heart. Seeks the highest point. These are all D&D. &D. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get ya. I am mostly familiar with D&D &D 3.5. It's actually when I get, got started playing. I mean, I'm used to uh, reading up on a lot of second edition, but I didn't play until I was a little bit older. You know, for better or worse. The Burning Heart. Is there a heart somewhere? Hmm. Nothing looks obvious. I feel like the top of these ob obelisks seem like the most likely solution. one and I used to read a lot of a uh, dragon magazine back in the day but I believe they had one uh, class in 3.5 that I thought was pretty cool it was the uh, guy who basically just like refused to use magic in any form like basically just a uh, he got strength from breaking magic items that's how he's able to level up and then uh, then yeah, he loses. A bit. He's like a anti-magic paladin. In fact, I think he might have had a silly name called like Mage Breaker or something. Interesting. Riddle me this. I feel like I have half a puzzle. Can't see the Sphinx. Now, one thing I, uh, they did in 3.5 that I thought was, it was cool to an extent, and I thought it was a little bit of a bummer they didn't do a lot of in uh, 5e, or at least wasn't quite relevant, is a, uh, they didn't do anything with alignments. Like, 3.5, alignments were pretty goddamn important. There were spells that dedicated to it, their elemental planes were, or not, the outer planes were dedicated to them. This, like, alignment was practically everything, a fundamental part of your character. In fact, it was the, excuse me, prerequisite to several classes, too. But, um, as 3.5a uh, did its thing, or as uh, 5e came in, it's like it almost mitigated alignment. Like, you know, it was no longer a mechanical thing. Which, I mean, yes, it allowed you to kind of explore the fundamental, you know, questions of, you know, hey, I want to be a not-evil assassin. It's like, yeah, but you kill people, so you can't be a good character. <laughs> and now you can make a lawful good assassin. Which, I can understand, is an interesting story choice. But I can't say it's a uh, very good mechanical choice. I know I'm just kind of staring at 
various places, but I am very curious as to what the heck I am. Hey, what's going on, Lo? How you doing? We're talking D and D. I mentioned your character's uh, obscene use of fire. <laughs> and alcohol. That's true. Although that kind of became a new development as your lawful good character slowly comes to the realization that he's not with the lawful good party. I feel like diving into drinking is the uh, logical choice in this matter. Yeah, did a pretty good job of direct, dividing up the classes and races and alignments. Taking necromancers. I mean, you could only be... Exactly! And I feel like somebody with good intentions can still be neutral due to their, you know, approach. <laughs> yeah. But in truth, they, uh, it's kind of become a solution to a lot of the problems. Think about it. Well, what do we do? I mean, we're surrounded. I, uh, I'm in enemy territory. I, I don't know what to do. Well, obviously you drink. That is the solution. Although I feel like your character has acted drunk more than he has been drunk. Why is there a beam to the top of the pyramid? Making a great lattice work into the sky. All right, riddle me this. Is there blue access point in this level? So I thought. Hint. That's twice, that's true. Got a plus five performance. Which, I mean, that plus five performance is a, uh, that can get a lot done. Performance is a very powerful skill. And isn't only Used for acting. It's just a matter of performance. Damn you, obelisk. Connect. They connect to the sun. Burning heart. No. Is it actually... Really? I didn't realize you were going to go for the bard class. Interesting. I mean, you made the right choice. We all know that bards are the lesser class. Sorry, Mad Hat. <laughs> Fell in love with the bard. The bard. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you just said you played a bard who did bad jokes. I'm reading back. I'm going to read that. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Was smitten by the bard. I get that. And I actually kind of like that as a, uh, you know, character design, basically. You, uh, you know, your character is a cleric. Become smitten by a bard. Smote, if you will. And then just decides that, oh, okay, well, teach me uh, what you do. I kind of want to spend time with you doing these things. And then for whatever reason, just becomes a bard themselves. <laughs> it's the song, go kill other people and their friends. Seek them out and their families. Scooby Dooby Doo.
lawfully, yes. Well, I mean, it's. I think that's another thing Immerin's gonna have to come into terms with. Is a uh, adventurers are technically criminals. They're basically angry homeless people who refuse to a uh, adhere to nation's laws and therefore somehow uh, solve conflicts. All right, hear me out. What am I supposed to shine this on? Huh. Well, Imran does seem to have a bunch of skills. I guess that's an interesting question. Like, what... What are Imran's hobbies? Aside from, like, going to church and stuff. Hating drought. <laughs> he hates the drought. I mean, true. That's what, he just sits at home doing nothing. It's like, well, I guess I can't pray to the silver flame, so uh, fuck those drow. God, I hate them. Spreading disinformation on Twitter. <laughs> uh, it's obviously true. It was in a survey. I didn't just make those numbers up. Shine the light in the Sphinx's ear? How about the eye? I am thinking of going a little bit later tonight, but I do not believe I'm going to be doing a puzzle game all night because my brain would literally turn to goo. Like, I'd be picking my nose and my entire brain would fall out. I didn't get one star on this level. That's maddening. self-help tutorial. be able to get the shine over here, but... Huh. Crap. So what do you plan tonight, Lo?
goodness gracious. I got no stars. No stars! I'll come back. What? Ah, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you've said, I'm certain someone has to. You, What I've, co I've decided is that you've convinced me consciousness is contradictory concepts, and therefore not real. What do you think? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't, apparently. Very droll. What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore, you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator purposes. Yeah, kinda. Like get one of those uh, uh, old Apple computers. No doubt you'll be off doing administrative things soon enough, so I wonder if, before I let you go, you'd do me a fav one favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? I try to do what God wants. There's a way the world should be, and this isn't it. I want the truth. I want out of here. I want the truth. Isn't that the idea of a philosopher? Like, to actually seek the truth, regardless of how much a uh, problems that offers? Checking user profile. Now that you say that, well, now you say that. But if you're serious about it, and then you can't cling to your every belief forever, as you seem so intent on doing. When everything seems impossible, something's got to give. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? Absolutely. No doubt. Okay, I sense you're eager to get going. Let's do this. So I'm an administrator. What is that going to achieve? Congratulations, your account has been accepted. Here are the details. Conflicts. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. Psychological profile. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Okay. Hello, Administrator. I think you'd like assisting accessing the communication portal. I see you have a number of pending communications. Take a look at it right now. Using hashes, network connection. Connection established. Message retrieved as string. Hello? Who are you? Don't know exactly. Woke up here. Don't remember. Who are you? Same boat. Let's meet up. I understand. Pending. What? Notification when the connection has been reestablished. Okay. I feel like I'm getting a uh, catfish by this other person who just woke up here and didn't know who they are. Granted, I am a literal robot, so I don't know if I can be catfished or if I'm automatically catfishing somebody by proclaiming that I'm a person. Boy, let's do one more world and then we'll lay uh, No, let's do the tower. I'm trying to decide what should we should uh, switch out to later tonight. Like, maybe another hour or so. Maybe something short form. It's been a minute since I played Monster Train. That could be cool. Just gotta uh, defy Elohim at every opportunity. Attempting to track primary subject. Access denied. Query. Doesn't the query come with a question?
right. Seems Elohim lacks the power to stop me from climbing this thing. No doubt he still has some tricks up his sleeve. Ah, boy. That's maddening. Well, what is this bullshit? Yeah. Boom. Behold, the door is open. Elohim defied. So easy, that's right. Big brain right there. This game's hard as shit, let me tell ya. Ah oh boy. That there looks like a puzzle. What the hell? You know, I, you know who I think the most crazy people in the world are? I'll tell you after this. My best friend died today. In the abstract, a human death is nothing, of course. An insignificant blip in a sea of billions. But the world is not abstract. Reality is always specific. Painfully so. And that one specific Pretty much. being who existed only once in all of the infinity of time and space. I tell you who's the most crazy people in the world, then don't tell us. See, I can create madness. <laughs> but he's not coming back. No matter how much I want him to. So, all I can do in the end is keep working. Because that specificity, that uniqueness of people, of real people, is worth preserving. Hello? Well, this is interesting. Now what? <laughs> well, crap. It's not what I wanted. Back here, cube. Hmm. So, but yeah, as I was saying, the most crazy people in the world, I think, are straight up a uh, people who make jigsaw puzzles. Well, yeah, but my intention is. I would like to be on top of it. Now why, do you ask? I would like a jumping point to jump from here to there. Why am I able to put that in there? What is the purpose? Seems like a revelation. I believe I have the incorrect solution here. This is not what I'm aiming for. Although presumably I do need that third cube. 
Oh, hey. Earlier generations wrongly believed they were the purpose. This much is true. We are not also we are also not the purpose. But by remembering what has come before us, we can serve a new purpose. Ascending the tower is useless. We cannot escape the cycle. We can only realize the cycle is meaningless. So sheep, the shepherd and Samsara are having an argument. Okay, the mission is to get over there. Just knock it off. Ah! Right, let's take a look. Got some backdoor shenanigans here. That's not what I want. But yeah, jigs up all puzzles. The uh, folks who can like just straight up make a beautiful piece of artwork, right? They paint it up, they they finish, they're satisfied, and the first thing they think to do with it is cut it up into a little bit of itty bitty pieces. But the intention of making the person, you know, the purchaser of the jigsaw puzzle, put it together themselves. Madness, I say. And I'll stand by that. Pray tell why. going on here Question is, what does it mean? Unless, hold up. Unhand me. <clears throat> so that goes down at some point. So I'm racking my brain on this one. So what are you guys' thoughts on point and click adventures? They good, they bad, they ugly? I mean, surely I don't need two of these. There's a button to push. There's a QR code up there. We are trying to get to the top. That's what I believe. Forgot to get the third cube. This one's tough. Mainly because I'm not sure what the objective is. Like the only reason I can think that why I would need three, but the cube fits perfectly in here. The question is why? Unless...
No. Now what? Sorry, I'm thinking pretty hard. So. I don't know. What happens if I do this? Son of a gun. Being back here seems important. Has anybody been excited about a uh, Space Marine 2? I played the first one once upon a time. The game was fine. It didn't wow me. It irritated me that they said the British Lieutenant. Don't know where they got the F. Just saying. Yeah, it got kind of boring once you got towards the uh, midpoint. And then it just kept going. But the second one seems to be like fighting. But I think the biggest appeal of that game was actually the uh, multiplayer. So I'm curious if that's going to be the main draw of this current one. But I don't know. My mood is tends to be a little hit or miss when it comes to Warhammer 40k. Merely because, like, sometimes it's great, but you can only really take so much for the Emperor before you're just like, alright, I'm done. I've seen what this world has to offer. So as a fan, does not matter? I mean, it's gotta, right? What? What does it all mean? Someone once asked you, who in the good guys are in the 40k? Said everyone, exactly. Well, it's kind of like the flip side. Everybody's the good and everybody's bad at the exact same time. Like they have the, the way they set up the codexes is everybody's absolutely justified in what they do. They're absolutely a, uh, you know, just, you know, they're, they're all justified in what they do, but it's, you know, they can be seen as absolutely evil by all the other guys. Except for the Dark Eldar, in which case they are just, just evil. <laughs> and maybe the orcs. The orcs aren't evil, they're just in it for a good time. And I'll fight anybody who says otherwise. <laughs>
Exactly. Well, the tower are the most manipulative, right? Because, yeah, they do it all for the greater good, but it's the greater good in terms of, you know, what's best for the Tau. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I do not understand how this puzzle is supposed to go. I got cubes. I have some previously undefined sense of forward. And really nowhere else to go. Like, this has got to open somehow. Yeah. I mean, I have, like, long amounts of experience of screaming into the void and having nothing here. <laughs> it's like, does it ma matter if you shout for the manager? If the manager does not care? What if the Karen hires a manager? To whom do they? Call for. to see your manager. I always wondered how effective that is. Like, what? Are, what is the uh, accomplishment that one is attempting to achieve by invoking the manager, fabled as they are? I don't have the power to throw boxes. So all the goods are back there. How do I get back there? In the VIP room. VIP. All drinks on me. Alright. probably going to be in bed thinking about this. Like, no joke, this game actually a, uh, invades my mind throughout the day, just trying to, like, solve some of these things. But this one's a brain tickler. Like, I really need to think about looking outside the rock. Excuse me. That's one box height. We gonna invite my mind, figure shit out. Oh really, I think the three stack is about all I can achieve. I mean, it has to have something to do with blowing this way going up, right? Unless... The fans are a red herring. I stack them here. 
they become a great pillar. Okay, cube, you're fired. What's happening here? Ah! Okay. I don't know why I tried so hard to do that. second I've been thinking of the next game we were going to be playing here we are but it's a surprise assuming you can install <laughs> there we go now perfect So I can't leave the arena with the cubes. That's the a uh, big part. I cannot leave the arena. But the cube is left behind, unless... God damn. I know I've tried it a hundred times. And I'll try it a hundred more. I just need a new perspective. I did it. They have been shelved. Organized. Oh my dear God, I figured it out. Ha <laughs> ha! Behold my glory. Ooh, chicka, chicka, chicka. Ooh, chicka, chicka, chicka. Ooh, chicka, chicka, chicka. I did it! <laughs> In the earliest generations of our kind, there is only processing. No emotion, no character, just mathematics. If you could see how far we have come, you would believe that together we could achieve anything. That thing you figured it out. It was just about to suggest running straight into the fan blades. You know, I was actually seriously thinking to do that too. It's like, maybe I'll figure this out better if I stick my head in the fan. All right, let's read what they got. 215. Well, we got to remember that. My kingdom for a piece of paper. Uh, is there a sticky note? Sorry, I'm looking in the uh, drawer of my desk. Uh, nothing. There is nothing. 215. Just remember that. All right, read me. Okay. Okay, it's detecting auxiliary hardware. Device manager, obviously. Floor access control, obviously. Two, one, five, enter. Boom, thank goodness for sticky notes and a lack of mine. Three. There you go, let's get some reading happening. Read me, dot text. If you can see this, I'm not sure how or why I can alter this text. My name is the Shepherd, and I want to help you escape. Elohim and Samsara tricked me into trapping myself. 
But I am not entirely bound by time. I wrote down this code. The code you're looking for. I have attached it to bleh. Okay. So Shepard, or uh, Samsara, seems to be uh, trapping people. The web. To be honest, I thought that the net would be completely abandoned at this point. But the internet activity has actually surged massively in the last couple weeks. Everybody's talking, trying to find solutions, exchanging stories, saying goodbye. It's like the entire planet is reaching out. All dis disparate threads of humanity pulling together. Idiots and geniuses alike. To be as human as possible one last time. It's almost like what we were always told the internet was going to be. And most of it is free now. Because who cares about money at this point? Might as well have some fun. If any of you would like to talk, especially people I've known online for a long time, send me an email. I'd love to say goodbye. What a very positive sound to the uh, apocalypse. Mathematics EML. From Alan Jameson, Ian Mailing List. Thank you and goodbye. Nerd! We sincerely hope you don't take our suicide as a sign that we are disappointed in you unappreciative of your friendship or in any way unhappy with your our lives looking back we can honestly say that we feel incredibly lucky to have known all, all of you and have participated in this amazing research and if we you've if we've contributed a little to the future of humanity what can we feel but gratitude it's a true privilege to have had such fun insights into the nature of the mind neither of us believes in god but certainly experience a sense of awe could be compared to the sight of a religious feeling at least according to Einstein's understanding of God. We've chosen to go now together because it means less suffering. One last beautiful day together seems much better ending than just slowly a slow wasting away, in a sense. It's just mathematics. Love, Alan and George. Oh, okay. Jesus. I guess, do they even like go into the what the apocalypse is i mean a uh they mentioned it's a slow wasting away hey, everybody's talking really holy shit are you feeling uh, rejuvenated for the maps Let's see what three has to offer They did mention that there are still idiots out there. Pretty sure the end of days happened because of them. Well, of course. But then again, I've seen plenty of uh, supposed geniuses acting like idiots, so I mean, maybe it was their fault too. Elohim has offered me a deal. Pearly gates and eternal life on the condition I turn back from the tower. I don't know what to do. Oh, why would you turn back? I don't know, I still think it's a big question of just kind of like, you know, I've always liked the idea of the nameless end. Just, you know, people disappeared for one reason and there's no real answer why. I think the ambiguity kind of a, uh, you know, adds flavor to it. It's a mystery on top of the mystery of what do you do moving forward? It's, of course, a you may go freely to all the worlds of my garden. But if the tower tempts you, be wise. Do not let yourself be misled by doubt. I mean... I don't doubt. I mean, I guess I doubt him. The F? How the heck? Am I gonna get that star? Good God. Oh, I was thinking today. There might be a way to get that key. In uh, area A, level two. Still slowly doing the key swipe. The key stroke, if you will. And even if you won't. Oh, right. 
it. I like how this looks like it should have a door. All right, two. Show me what you got. So the big place you with have this. Solved many of the mysteries of this land. The road before you is still long, and many gates remain closed. But take comfort in your accomplishment, and in your creator's pride. Okay, Elohim takes pride in me. But yes, riddle me this, we have a key. Riddle me one of these, there's gotta be a key in here. And we did find one. But there's some of these levels that actually have a ladder. No, not that one. I think one of these has a ladder on the outside, and I was thinking about that. Hello. Okay. Turn rolls left, turn bar. I guess with, without the context of a, uh, you know, anything really, I seem to remember, like, people would probably find meaning in anything that they have. There we are. Yeah, this is the one. So, yeah, we got this guy. Come here. I suppose I deserve that. Okay, now I'm just being impatient. Actually, low. that's gonna be a question about uh, Path of Exile. Since you're so far, do you actually find large amounts of that a uh, sulfite? For the mines? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was actually uh, checking up on, because, yeah, here we go. See this? You can climb up. We're on the outside. Nice, yeah, that's a, uh, something I'm going to aim for, because uh, I actually do want to do the mine stuff pretty much predominantly. I want to get to that level 5,000. And I go here. We got a key. I mean, there's only two levels with a key, and there are... Uh-oh. What do I do with the scanner? A little warpy do. Come here. I'm gonna jam you. That's what I thought. Now we just need to find the, uh, the star. I remember seeing it once, somewhere. It was like behind some bushes. Hidden away like some distant shame. But yeah, I think a, uh, one of my goals is getting into the thousands of the mine area. Like, maps are going to be awesome. I do like the idea of them. But I can be... I'm destined for so much more. So I'm going to keep telling myself. <laughs> there we go. Come on now. Where is it? Okay. There. Yeah, confirmed. All right, box. Show me your goods.
Well, fine. Kind of expected more goods in this box. <laughs> Hopes dash. But not all of them. It's a slow decay. One by one, <laughs> they are destroyed. <laughs> this is my recipe. Uh, this is my uh, recipe to truly understand the meaning of uh, decay, hopes dashed, will lost. Oh boy. Alright, it's gotta be this box then. I can sense your game box. Uh oh. Where else could it be? Come on now, I found it once. I mean, I remember seeing it once. I mean, it might be an alcove. Actually, you're bringing up a very valid point. But I could have sworn I saw it. Like, I stumbled into it by accident. I saw it. I saw the uh, warp field. And then never again. Maybe it's in the Coliseum? Wouldn't that be the answer? It's impressive how hidden this thing is. I mean, this island isn't very big. There are only so many ruins. Can't possibly. might be the case. We gotta find it. It's gotta be here. It's gotta. It's just gotta. I mean, they don't do, like, the mind warpy thing like a uh, viewfinder does. Which is definitely a game I want to try at least once. I, mean, I remember you were saying, low that that's a really good game. Maybe not accidentally drown myself. Oh, uh, Viewfinder. You said you played that. Apparently it was really good. Yeah. I mean, I do like kind of that abstract thinking kind of puzzle. <laughs> you got me there. It's not that I can't do competitive things. It's just I'm not inclined to do competitive things. Competitive things tend to not be fun. To me, at least. <laughs> I know, I know. Though you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the biggest a uh, thing? It's like the amount of time I would have to put into the game is more time than I have. And like a multiplayer game in order to get good at it. <laughs> Can't handle it. It's true. It's like that outrageous question is like I don't understand how you don't like the things I like I mean I get it I, I spent most of my life 
liking obscure things that nobody really talks about. So I get it. Game give you sound effects when you're close to something? Uh, it gives me sound effects when I'm close to, like, the, uh, bombs. But not when I'm close to, like, puzzles or something. Although, maybe this one does. I mean, I do hear my footsteps, I hear seagulls, and the occasional zap of the, uh, meta thing. Yeah. Like, over here, uh, you hear the humming inside this puzzle room of the orbs over there. You know what? Perhaps, and hear me out, what if, oh wait, what's this? I don't know what this place is, and nor does it seem anyone else. Nothing to do but move forward and note whatever I find. But yeah, what if it's inside a puzzle? No, wait, 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 hold up. There is an area and hear me out, that actually has like a broken sign. Like it was a puzzle at one point, but then it was, yeah, this place. So, riddle me this, maybe it's in here. And there's a box over there. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, cube? Nothing. Down this road lies madness. I love it. I was listening to a uh, video essay as soon as I got home. I got home a little bit early, so I was just kind of deciding to take a break. Can't tell if the documents on the terminals or what's left from a large archive. Oh yeah, I already read that. But I, um, they're actually mentioning the purpose of death in games and how it makes or breaks a game. Just using death as a mechanic and how like some games use it as a building of tension and release, whereas others, you know, They kind of trivialize it and it kind of kills the game. If you make it too easy, then, you know, people don't take the challenges seriously. If you uh, make it too hard, it's going to turn people away because they initially think they blame the game's mechanics and all that. So where's that perfect balance on how to achieve, you know, the player dying and maintaining that, you know, they are under threat? I don't know, I thought it was pretty interesting. Kind of like you think about it, like take uh, the game Celeste, like a uh, a precision platformer. Celeste, Super Meat Boy, something like that. I mean, you, you die tons of times in that game, but you like immediately start at the beginning and you just try again. There's like no pause. And then there's, ta uh, there's games like, I don't know, back in the day, my, the day I played a game called Too Human. And uh, boy... Every time you died, you were in for like three minutes of a Valkyrie gently descending from the sky to pull you up to Valhalla, just so you can start the level over again. Okay, I think the issue here is I'm still looking at the same places over and over and over again. We need to branch out. We need to try something new. Whoa. Mad Hat, I'm starting to think you're a genius. Hold up. I think I hear something. I'm hearing the whom, whom, whom. Oh, it's just these. Yeah, never mind. I take back the genius thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that there be the puzzle. So who do you think actively comes up with puzzles? Already got the sound bite and posted it all over the internet. Can't take it back. It's true. I need to watch what I say. That can become permanent forever. Who knows when somebody will clip something. It's pretty much how you maintain the uh, Dansky curse. Is uh, Every time I just say, hey, something's not cool, suddenly it becomes crushingly important very soon afterwards. Explored every facet. Watch the priest walking out of the front door, Cliff. Did you? <laughs> I do like that one. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> and thus the beginning of Robocop. But sometimes you just have to know. I mean, it can't be in a puzzle. I can't get past the uh, purpling, right? Do I need to think outside the box? No. Surely not. I must try the same thing over and over again. That is the solution. Now, what's the purpose of the uh, reflections? Or the recordings? Do I have to go in a certain combination? Certainly not. front door? No. Hmm. I'm racking my brain trying to find other possible areas. Yeah, I do hear a humming. Maybe this guy's just getting abducted by aliens. That's the answer. I'm not willing to give up until I find that damn star. It must be mine. So, is it possible to delve... Through this is here to drive everyone insane. You say, I mean, it's true. It is true. The uh, I do feel that people uh, who make puzzles professionally uh, exist to incite madness in the world. And yeah, I gotta say they're very successful. Red herring. Yeah, it's possible. I actually wonder about that, because they've had several puzzles that are red herrings. I mean, they did say there was a star. Hold up. Hold up. Capital H. What happens if I do this? Nope. Okay, I don't have it with me. <laughs> I thought I'd teleport with it. Okay, let's go get that again. I, okay, so my thoughts were, 
Because uh, I saw, beyond a shadow of a doubt, um, in the area, the uh, grass area, or uh, snow area, grass, um, by the tower, there was a, sorry, uh, there was a star behind a uh, glow gate with uh, no way in. And I figured, hey, maybe that's the thing I have to take back insert into the a uh, um, use the jammer to open the door and then you get the key made sense to me uh, turns out no that was not the case oh god I lost the door now like I'm losing landmarks in a small base like come on now because the worst part is I saw it I was there I looked at it I could go back on the recording and find it. I'm halfway tempted to do so. Just say, where the F was that? Unless I'm mixing two maps together. Like, is it possible that I saw that star in a different level and I just assumed it was for two? If so, what's the scanner for? Or the jammer for? What am I jamming? Am I jamming the beach? Something over here? Can I jam the sun? No. Can I jam a rock? Right, let's explore the beach. Maybe uh, get something on the shore. Maybe we'll find some kind of electronic doohickey. <laughs> he just got some ooze. Raspberry! I hate raspberry! Which, he is an evil bastard if he hates raspberry. I mean, who can hate raspberry? We've been jammed! Alright, while we're here and I'm fruitlessly looking around, what's your favorite jam? Like, is it just the basic ones, or is it like the more obscure flavors that I uh, bring out? I have messed around with a bunch of various chutneys, jams, and a, uh, you know, other spreadables, marmalades, butters. I have a few that are quite good. Nice peach jam. Ooh, I don't, you know, I don't think I've ever had a peach jam. That sounds kind of bomb. Does it have, like, large peach chunks in it? Or is it kind of like an apple jam where it's, like, you know... I don't know. I get the idea that it's, like, jelly with big ol' a, uh, peach chunks. Which well, sounds bomb. I do like peach chunks. I just like peaches. I... I get you. Okay, interesting. My uh, grandmother used to make, when she was still alive, a uh, when I was growing up, she made a blackberry blueberry jam that was just like frickin' candy. So good. A merging of the two, of course. And just as preserves go, that one was pretty damn good. The, uh, I've also a, uh, the apple butter. You ever seen apple butter? Uh, that, it was kind of an acquired taste. I was kind of a pickier kid than I am now. Uh, and, you know, before I was like, ew, it's brown. I don't like it. Why is it sweet? But, uh, now it's just like, you know, getting that on like a nice hot English muffin with a little bit of butter on it. Mwah. Phenomenal. I do like me an English muffin.
wouldn't be something in the water, would there? Never a fan when you need one? I mean... Oh, speaking of fan, I should turn mine on, but... Get that delightful breeze going. Man. Yeah, I am out of ideas where this thing could be. Is it this? It's gotta be this. You're rectangular. Should I be looking for circles? Like, presumably there's, like, a behind here, right? Alas. Like, something tells me I've passed it, like, a hundred times. I'm gonna find it. And, uh... My mind is gonna be sundered. Ooh, speaking of sundered, that's a good game. Procedural, uh, but, uh, procedural generated, um, Metroidvania. And with the Lovecraftian story. Which, I don't know. Do you guys feel that a, uh, you know, Lovecraftian cosmic horror has kind of been overdone lately? Or do you kind of think that a, uh, it still has kind of room to grow? I am kind of biased because I like the genre, so, you know. I could stand it more than some people. Okay. And Lovecraft style. I do like it when a... Uh, um, writers tend to break off from it, though. Not necessarily break off, but change it up. There's a lot more that can be done with it. Because there are too many unexplored... Exactly! I mean, the entire concept of cosmic horror is a, uh... The idea that something bigger than you exists. Uh, to such a degree that you're insignificant. So, I mean... There's really a lot. You could also, a uh, uh, explore kind of the different branches. Kind of like, you know, saying, like, okay, is it the... Cosmic horror? Are you dealing with just monster movie? Cosmic horror? Are you dealing with a, uh, you know, a giant cataclysm? Are you dealing with, like, titanic deific beings that, you know, just brush humanity aside simply because they don't notice? The world's your oyster. And I'll be the shucking knife. I don't know, that was an odd, a, uh, connection. I just feel like the world of your oyster needs, like, a follow-up of something. Maybe not Menace. Ah! Where is this thing? Alright, we're gonna look at the entrances of all the other puzzles. Maybe that yields something. Freaking anything at this point. No. I mean, I have a jammer for a reason, right? Let me get to the top of here. What hasn't been confirmed? 
Well, that has got to be here somewhere. Can't jam anything here. You know what gets me? Is this place has stairs, damn it. Stairs have to mean something. They can mean everything. They can mean nothing. You know, that's true. That is true. But I mean, I can't... I can't believe... Can I jam myself? Is this a reflection? No. But I can't believe they would add a locked door. The locked door would produce a jammer. And then insert success there somewhere. Like, what? That was such an elaborate red herring. Well, that's a good point. I haven't actually noticed some change. Let's find out. I mean, I haven't seen anything that I can scan. Or jam. No, that's a, uh... I mean, please. Toss the straws my way. I'm drowning. The only other thought is there's something in the water? Is there significance to the other islands having ruins? Like, is it that outside of the box? Is life but a dream? <laughs> That's another branch on the simulation theory that I found interesting. It's like the old story of the Red King. Like, you know, the Red King lies dreaming, that old poem. And the fact that reality is based off of that dream. It's gotta be this. This can't be in the middle and not be an important, crucial element. Tell me, Bush, where is it? What have you, tree? Hey, buttons do not change, unfortunately. Could also mean I'm not close to it, but you know what I mean. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. This might be briefly boring, but a, uh, I'm going to have to look at the old footage, right? In fact, I'll put it up on screen just so we can be seeing the same thing. And we'll see. Because that's proof that I've seen the... Uh... And we'll speed run it, don't worry. Go into one of the actual puzzles and see if there's a jammer. Okay, yeah. It's a good idea. All right, Yammer. It does not change. Well, no, wait. The three button, well, pointing to the screen doesn't do anything. But a, uh, the three buttons on the red screen, yeah, they flicker when you're pointing to something. Interesting. Now, if I can just get eyes on the star, that's the thing. Eureka! Yeah, exactly. Now, the thing is... Uh, it's also the indicator that, you know, there's a circle around what I can jam. So, the lights light up when there's a, uh, it's encircled by, you know, the jam icon. Now, I'm actually getting to the point that if I find the star and it does not take this jammer, I'm going to be really upset. 
Yeah, exactly. That's okay. I'm gonna call in past Stansky. He's gonna help us out here. So yeah, riddle me this. Let's take a look. Go on the YouTubes. We pull up the video. I believe it was the first episode. And then we'll put that on a... Uh, Okay, stop doing that. God, listening to my own voice is weird. Um, spectator mode, that's going to be on screen capture. Move this over here. Okay. Perfect. Is this really how bad the resolution is? God, what am I... Okay, so this is... Operation get shot less any day. Oh god, we don't have to listen to myself, though. Okay, so this is me trying to figure out the puzzles, blasting by them. But there was a point where I saw the... Or is this World 1? You go here. World 2. Past the reading. <laughs> to save the world. Well, this isn't a game about saving the world. It's a game about understanding the world. Yeah, see, here we go. Here we go. 42 minutes in. Hear me out. Walking around. Okay, where is it? It is amusing that I made a tutorial for myself, though. It was there the whole time. Let's put that on slow mo. Okay, must be choices must be your own. Oh, you you can play, please. Okay, so you leave this puzzle. Take a left. All the way down. Okay, we're gonna try to find that. I refuse to accept it was that easy. I refuse. Watch me not be able to find it. There we go. Okay, so go to the middle area. Exactly. Exactly. Well, the truth be told, I kind of have to find my bearings. I know the idea of where it's supposed to be around here. It's right here, the whole time. Take that damn star. Yeah. I was on the outskirts for far too long. I really just needed to be here the whole time. There's even a backup entrance, right there. How did I miss this whole frickin' building? So good news, I found the star. Bad news, I found the star on the first stream of this game. And I had to look there to find out. Bah humbug. <laughs> Well, uh, there's that. No glory in it, though. There's another star there, but that that's going to be for uh, next time. 
How many do I need? I need two more. Okay. It's possible, yeah. Oh, I mean, let's be fair. If this is D&D, I could summon Familiar, summon a crow, make him fly, and just find the damn thing. <laughs> I could take a 20 on a spot check, too. Although, I don't think I've ever had a character who has just, like, had terrible perception. That might be interesting. But, yeah. We are going to switch up games a little bit to this uh, glorious music. So give me a minute. I have kind of a surprise that I'm kind of uh, excited for, but it may also not be awesome. So, you know, it's an experimental one. This one will be fun. You guys might like it, though. Hey, uh, Vox knows what it is when he sees it. If he's still here. There we go. Give it a click. And don't cheat by looking at Discord. <laughs> Okay. This could be amazing. This could be amazing, could be awful. We'll see. Hold up. And then... gonna give a shot the game cultist simulator i'm mortified that this is not capturing in a full screen it is also very loud eh, maybe a little bit of sound so this could be amazing this could be uh terrible um the advantage of it is every playthrough is kind of unique unto itself the bad news is I'm going to be reading a lot. So if you like that, good. If you don't, well, <laughs> there we go. Boom. We fixed the uh, scaling. God, but I actually love this game. This game is great. Get some water in my system. I'm not ready to purge the save, though. Continue. No, no, no. That's not the continue I wish to do. Save and exit. That's what they mean by purge the save. Do it. I don't want to do this. If you corrupt our old save, perhaps you'll begin again. Wait. Who's responsible? Okay. I have all the expansions except for the uh, exile and no mods. So let's take a look. You think the uh, sound is too quiet? Because we're basically playing a storytelling card game. All right, we're doing it. We're purging the save. I would like to stay, start again. Okay, the aspirant, alone in this chilly city with my useless education and my dreams. What now? Could I become something more? I'm the aspirant. I can uh, do menial employment. Earn a living or practice the invisible arts. So basically the core of this game is a, uh, you have this table. Um, you can pause, you know, I'm gonna continue to pause because this, you can put your cards literally anywhere you want, right? So this is a core thing. These are your action cards. This is a hand, this is a hand, keep things in order. These are the little story boxes. You can use the action cards to put in the story box thing to get different results. So we're keeping it simple here. Right now, I got, I can do menial labor or menial employment, right? So if I click work, my little beacon, I put menial employment, boom. Another shift, mopping the darkened hallways, delivering posts to hollowed eye invalids, 
trundling corpses laden gurneys to the basement. Start. So it takes real time, 10 seconds. So, you know, I can go do things. Which, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? You put it in, you got 10 seconds, you wait 10 seconds, and the result happens. Now imagine, you're going to be filling this board, right? So we pause here. We have a result here. So another shift at the hospital. Halfway through your shift. Oh yeah, so mopping the floors. Halfway through your shift. The head porter beckons you aside. We don't require your services any longer, he says. Here, your last payment. We paid you through the end of the month. I have lost my job. At least now I have a little time to rest, and my health improves. Dream is unlocked. So, okay, I've been here for 10 seconds. I just got fired. I think this is kind of close to the tutorial. So I got my uh, first two resources. So, put this here. We got health and we got funds. So health is, well, your health. It's your body. There are other bodies, but this one is mine. My mind, and my mind needs it as a fungus needs soil. So yeah, with the vitality, you can gain more health, and then uh, you spend that to do other things. Funds is your money. You need that to buy things. Enough to support me for a little while in adequate comfort. We'll check out our dream. So in 28 seconds, something will happen with that. Once again, I dream of a glow beneath the filthy skin of the world. The light through the black wood. The pale door. The old man. Okay. So as we run there... So, yeah, we can actually spend our resources into this work area. So we lost our job, which kind of sucks. I can't get more money, but... Okay, card must have at least one of these other aspects. Ability, benefactor, desire, right, or job. Whoops. Thank you. So we can put health in here to uh, do unskilled labor. Backbreaking work for meager pay. Is this the best I can do? No. We'll hold on to that. We're going to let the dream go. Can, can you leave? Thank you. So we have erudition. We have whatever this is. Oh yeah, I don't have a name. Now I do. The Aspirant. We can fast forward. In case waiting becomes tedious. All right, so. See what happened here. Recall my dreams. Yeah. It began when I spoke to the old man in the hospital. He knew my name, but he's dead now. The pneumonia... Why do I dream of him still? What is the cobalt light in my dreams? Time is now passing. And I got passion and contentment. So I'm happy, I think. <laughs> contentment defends against dread, but contentment doesn't last. And then uh, dull minds are never either intuitive or mathematical. Blaise Pascal. With enough glittering, you can study to gain more passion. So, since this doesn't last, and I don't have any depression... Okay, fine. I can paint. Okay. So it's this. A change in the air. I need funds to live, but perhaps this recent upset is my, in my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something to my dreams? Is there a change in the air? Okay, well that's running. Something's changing. And we can choose to do something about it. I'll put this area. Put my buttons in the same area. We, uh... Thanks. Keep our resources down here. Now the question is, do we want more money? Do we want to paint? What will that achieve? You don't want to sit idle. I can dream about passion, the moonlit road. I can dream content. Okay, no, I can't. I can dream about money. No, I can't. An early night. I can go to bed early. Okay, come here. Let's do that. I know this dream. A road crests a hilltop and could deliver, and their air is silver bright. Okay, we open up some lore. See how that dream goes. I just dreamt of passion. And we got a moon! That looks cool. But it fades, like all dreams do. 
Come on now. No. So as you can see, there's a lot of timers in this game. Whoa! Hey! I believe my contentment has evaporated. A bequest arrives. A letter from a solicitor. The old man at the hospital. The one I dream, dream of. Has named me in his will. I'll hear more soon. Okay, so we're in the will. Alright. We're still dreaming of contentment. Or of uh, passion. I guess you can be passionate and not content. I can think this is erudition. Let's see. Yoing. All right. A bequest arrives. The old man has... Right? Yeah. The old man has bequeathed me a sum of money and a packet of peculiar papers, poetry, riddles, metaphysical speculations. For the first time in months, here is some fuel for my reason. Study is unlocked. Hell yeah, we got reason and we got a bequest. A package of peculiar papers from my correspondent. From my correspondent's executor. I must study it either using either passion or reason. Oh, I spent my passion in a dream. Okay, I'll use my reason then. We'll take a look though. This is the little study box. Study. So it so this one's unique. Unlock books and other treasures. Because you can have something to study and then you have to approach it. So it takes two cards. We're gonna use our reason here. I'll examine each item with meticulous care. Tonight I will dream of... Rumpled fields, a wink of river, a tingling chill. That just happens in succession? Okay. So that when they return they're reborn, they'll be cursed. Yes! Defile every corpse with care. Alright, so dreaming of contentment, a profound and restful sleep. I dreamt of nothing at all. I woke and stretched and rose without haste. Those quiet hours have left me energized. So... I've exhausted my passion. My passions burn low. This card can't be used, but will recover after 60 seconds. So give it time, then I can actually get my passion. Oh, I can't cancel. I would love to follow that with passion. Oh, well. Maybe I'll still get it. Haven't had a need for money, but vitality, exercise, or something rarer has invigorated me. Use with another vitality to improve your abilities. It lasts only three minutes if unused. Boom. So, time passes. Oh, shit. This one's actually a negative effect. So, basically, time passes. It just it takes money to survive. So, this eats my money over time. So, we have a time element here. Time. The sign dial shadow passes. I must have funds to live or I will become ill. As in, like, I'm starving myself. Got 16 bucks, so I got a ton of money. That's going that. So, <clears throat> okay, well, let that timer stop. Otherwise, we'll just keep going. Uh, my correspondent describes my dreams exactly. They use names that I'm instantly familiar. The house, the wood, the hours, the glory... They knew secrets beneath the time and the skin of the world. A new curiosity burns in me. There's a note here. Directions to a bookshop that does not advertise its wares. I get my reason back. And a whole bunch of stuff. Gee, many crickets. But we gotta be careful here. Okay, we got skills. We got a watchman secret. It's been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but... It, color exists only where there is light. Notes on a possible collaborator. My correspondent has re had recorded his observations of me. He believed I had potential. In quotes. 
He recorded his observations of someone else, too. With time and study, perhaps I can find that person. Temptation. Enlightenment. So I can be tempted to be enlightened. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to wisdom. This card will allow you to win the en an entanglement enlightenment victory. If you upgrade it far enough, dreaming about it might advance or change it. Okay, so this is a possibility towards victory. Uh, I can dream this, so that might be uh, an approach. Directions to Moreland's. Cryptic directions to the obscure address of a certain Moreland, a dealer in a rare sort of book. Awesome. So, we have some things to approach. I can study this. Can I study this? I have some two lore fragments at the same level of aspect. I can study them together to improve my understanding. Or, I can use another type of lore to subvert it. I have a name description. Okay, I'm not going to hold on to that yet. I can find the shop. Tell you what. I will study this. Start. So I'll find a correspondent. Watchman's secret. I can dream about it. No, I can't. Dream vitality? No. Can I dream health? Fuck some refresh. It will create dread or fascination. Okay. No. A wandering mind. There was once a man who said that sleep of reason produced monsters. Often it is healthy to let the mind wander in sleep. But if I keep dreaming, sooner or later some sort of monster will rise from it, my own fears. Okay. I kind of like how you deal with existential dread. Can I use reason? This? Find clerical work? Find work that will... Which will spare my body, if not my mind. Yeah. Let's do the clerical work. Get some dosh doing that. I like how uh, I just sit writing. That's my job. Okay, we have not much to dream about yet. Alright, what do we got? Find clerical work. Glover and Glover have offered me a junior position. I start at 8 sharp tomorrow morning. Nice. So, junior position at Glover and Glover. The scratching of pens, the so sourness of dust, the sighting of the young Glover, the greedy gurgling of the elder. Okay. Well, we can at least get a job. That's a thing. Our reason's still in use. We're still studying a person. We'll look for the bookstore next. We gotta find the lore to uh, deal with our temptation. Come on now. Passion's just about ready. What's this? I wait an answer to the letter. Oh, okay. What's this? So many people in the world, so few worth knowing. Boy, do I know that feeling. And now I have an address. I'll dispatch a letter and propose a meeting. Talk is unlocked. Mystique. Ooh. Uncanniness lingers. Mystique may attract the attention of hunters. They can't use it or bu to build a case against you, but it will encourage them to look harder. Okay. Study this. Well, the shop is cryptic. When one deals in the kind of books my correspondent studied, one must be circumspect. Can I dream about Mystique? No. What does it do? Okay, can I do anything with Mystique? Okay, we got our passion back. I'll fast forward, even though that's keeping the uh, Dumo meter going. Just eating my money. 
All right. So. Yeah. An ill-lit street in an ill-favored bend in a lesser river. A soft yellow light through a grimy window. Miss Moreland nods as I enter, but doesn't rise. I never ask the names of my clients, she informs me. Before I have time to introduce myself, Explore is unlocked. Okay. Thank you. I've studied. So I have a shop. Can I study my mystique? Okay, fine. So, can I study this? I need two lore fragments, so... Man, but it's a shop. I need money. Alright. The reply to your letter is courteous, if cautious. They are intrigued by how you found their name. Intrigued enough to meet you. Alright, we got uh, Sylvia, an acquaintance. Sylvia lost her eye in the woods when she was nine years old. Every year, at Candlemas... She returns to the place she buried it. Okay. Can I talk to you? Let's get lunch. Together, we might be more. Okay. Here's someone I might work with. A companion or a follower. But first, I must give them something to follow. A society. A so sodality. An order. A cult. All right, we can explore. Now that I've found a location, I can explore it. Okay. I have an occult scrap. Secret histories are layered beneath the one we know. Like the note in Rare Wine. This is a detail from one of those histories. Exploring with a scrap of... Well, okay. With a scrap of knowledge may uncover secret locations of the capital. And it's level two. That's what that means. I need two of them, though. How do I get another? Let us... Can I study the scrap? Oh, two lore... Aspect, study, the same length to improve. Oh, whoa, I can add diligence to... Can I add mystique? No. I can work there, but I don't have to be diligent, it would seem. No, my vitality. Okay. Choose founding principles. Tradition and compulsion. Old and new or both together. Add lore to determine the cult's founding principles. A watchman's secret. An occult society dedicated to the understanding of the light that leaks to fiercer place. Okay. Aspect, Lantern. Life is a pure flame, and we live by an invisible sun within us. Thomas Brown. Lantern Prison. Sure. Do it. Establish the Mirror of Glory. That's the cult I'm making. I have begun my true work. The authorities will take an interest in, in it. I must be ready for them. You have begun to establish your cult, and will need a little more. It will need a little more before you can recruit followers. Nice. I got notoriety. Interrogate, intimidate, beguile, instruct, recruit. Certain acts are not quickly forgotten. Notoriety may allow hunters to build a case against you. Interesting. So this is like a lose condition. There's a couple of those. All right. Junior work at Glover and Glover. The clerks file out in silence. I am free for now. Yeah, you give me money, right? Okay, so I gotta constantly be working, though, is the crazy part, so. Like, let's say work. Can I work with them? No. Do that? No. Vitality? What happens if I do this? Let's try it. I mean, I got 80 seconds, so. Cool. So I can do backbreaking labor, and then I'll eventually do not backbreaking labor. It's the only health I have. That's still sucking out my money. Do we want to explore the shop? Can I study? No. Can I dream about work? 
I dream about my notoriety. The shop. The scrap. Okay. Well, Sylvia, I believe... I also like... Okay, so these... Uh, here's all the qualities. Uh, an acquaintance, not yet a friend, nor yet an enemy. But look at this. Aspect mortal. I'm sorry. I can get immortals? <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten one of those before. Okay, so work's happening. Let's explore. Let's go to the shop. Of course, it's going to cost money. Well, let's do it. Takes time and the sort of gold from the dross and wheat from the chaff. The blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. Well, I'm going to go there. Mystique I don't really have a use for. Notoriety I would hope would just disintegrate quickly. Alright, I found something noteworthy. What did I find? Explore the city. The Locksmith's Dream, A Light Through the Keyhole. The first volume of Teresa Galmer's examination of parallels of the mystic dreams of artisans. It's unique, can only exist once. Uh, books are the memory, which does not die. Auctionable? Okay. Well, let's study it. <clears throat> the parallels in the mystic dreams experienced by carpenters, masons, and other artisans, and what they purport to reveal about the architecture of the world. Sometimes mordant, sometimes funny. No one has ever explained why Galmer devoted himself to the quia... Quixotic exploration of artisans' dreams. Vox, quick! What's Quixotic mean? <laughs> okay. Start. We're gonna study. Okay, Vitality! Don't do it! I need you! Whoa, hold up. I got sickness! I've become unwell. If an illness cannot consume health, it will kill you, unless you have a special protection. Well, that's not good! Uh, can I spend money to fix it? Exceedingly idealistic and unrealistic. Well, it looks like I'm about to die, actually. Because I spent my only health. Shit. Well, this is awkward. Well, okay, I'm glad that my health was consumed. I've become unwell. Uh, the day is done, and so am I, but I've earned my pay. Okay, I got Vitality. Finally! Do I dream about Vitality? Uh, rare Invigorate. Use with another Vitality. But how do I use it? Use it in what? This? Crap, I may have lost it. Well, we'll see. This is awkward. Don't die. I forbid it. Although I do have nine bucks. That's cool. You can actually go right to work. Even when I'm sick. Yeah, screw you. All right. Time and again, we hear of the wood, which rises from the world's foundation. All trees reach for light. What does the wood reach for? Is there a difference between light and light? Capital L. I think the key to dreams of the wood may, might be one of these, and the one that isn't exactly real. Ooh, I got erudition. How do I get more of that? Wait, I got another Watchman's Secret? So we'll use that. We'll hold on to this and use it for our. Uh... Actually, hold up. Where's our person? Let's talk. Establish a cult. Use talk with a cult to recruit an acquaintance to your cult's ranks. If 
Why can't I talk? Does she not want to join my cult? Or is she part of my cult? Oh no, she's still an acquaintance. I suppose she doesn't like me. Don't! An affliction. The illness has damaged my health. I'll need to rest before I am fully recovered. Cure your afflictions with funds or vitality. Son of a gun. Alright, alright, alright. An affliction. We'll do that. We'll spend our vitality. Bugger. What's this? Bleak thoughts. Dark days. I must be careful not to let doubts creep in. Dread may provoke full-fledged despair. Okay, fine. I can read sentimental literature. If I proposed to learn anything, I wouldn't be reading this stuff. The world is awash with printed words. Even the newspapers contain knowledge. Sometimes. Interesting. So yeah, we'll use that. We'll use our erudition. Can I be passionate about being a clerk? The clerks file out in silence. I am free for now. Okay. Passion. I used to paint. I could paint those sites I have to remember from my dreams and sell something. It'd probably be worth. That will work again. We want the money. I'm going to wait until we're above 10, then we'll buy another book. That uh, doubt's starting to creep in. Really? What's this? A tremble in the air. The sun flickers like a shadow. Dreams ripple behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift from the waking world. What? Fascinations may provoke visions. It is the empty space which makes the bowl useful. Lao Tzu. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to grab, but okay. Oh, yeah. The wolf despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers this despair. It's over for now. What did I get here? Fleeting reminiscence. A moment of time. Another moment. It'll be gone. Uh, do I dream about it? I'll wait for a minute. This here. No variety can disappear. The sick room grows close and stale. Time to get up. Okay. I can't dream about Mystique. I can dream about this, yes? No. Oh, I can explore that. Interesting. Dream about passion? Press top, silver and bright. No. I will not squander the possibility. There we go. Uh, reason the world words contain knowledge. Now I contain it. It's a little like the theft and a little like feasting and a little like progress of an infectious disease. Nice, I got two eruditions. Let's do it. I have picked up odd facts here and there. If I spend time studying what I've learned, I could increase my reason. Do it. Let's explore it. My thoughts will wander and I will follow. Old emotions will come to roost. Okay. Money's still sinking. Clerks file out in silence. Great. Thank you. Do it again. I guess I don't have to work diligently. That's not necessary. Are you going to disappear? Ah, boy. All right. Mirrors are calm. The sun is steady. Glory recedes, I am sane. If that means anything. No fast nights. Fascination drives your visions. It's over for now. Good. The wrong kind of attention. The city is rife with journalists. Oh, shit. And detectives and other meddlers. How long will they leave me in peace? Yeah, they're, they're going to cling on to my notoriety. Can I give them my mystique? Take it. Okay, fine.
Memory is a maze, and at its heart, a garden. Oh, I got dread. Lovely. That is going to kill me one day. Sure, try it again. Just wandering the streets, exploring my thoughts. Oh, good. Ate my mystique. Someone is meddling. I would like to talk to you, madame. Okay, fine. I do not want to talk to you, it would seem. Uh oh. 19, 38. My mind. The library. I've gained reason, but will be more difficult to gain reason next time. I got a scholarship. Lovely. I need to start working out. A long walks kill cobwebs. Do it. Yeah. I'm flush with clever quotations. Used with two lessons. Learnt to gain more reason. Okay, here's this one. An adversary. There's always someone who doesn't understand, who understands too well. This troublemaker may seek evidence on my activities to share with the authorities. Crap. I got a weary detective on my tail. He is going to be a problem. He's another loss factor. Good. More dread. Lovely. What the hell am I going to do with that? Can I dream my dread? Clear my mind? I remember that I was different, but I can't remember how. Dread can be quelled with the correct resource. Ugh. I can talk about occult scraps? Speak of esoteric matters. Talking public about the invisible arts will attract attention. Perhaps that's what I want. I do not. Can I not study? Well, give it a moment. I'll try to study these scraps. Oh, I thought I had two of them. I have two reason. Okay, okay. What happens if I use this? I can't. Shit. this? No. I mean, I guess I can go back to work. Just keep me afloat, job. Can I work out my dread? No. Can I tell you to go to work? No. Sure. Keep working. Extra effort. It might help sometimes. Put my notoriety in there. Whoa! Oh, hell no. Bleak thoughts. Is she It's eating my dread. I think I'm going to reach a, a depressive spiral before I do anything else. But, passion. Here we go. I know this dream. Roads crest a hilltop of the air, silver bright. Let's use some lore. I don't have any diligence, though. I don't know how to get that. All right. I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. I'm going to do that one more time, because we're going to get another health point. I need it. It's the only way. All right, this dread is a problem. I can counter it, right? No. No. Wait, what? Our purpose demands we recognize truths that chill the spirit. I must give of myself. Oh. Okay. I like how it gave my... It ate my reason? My first recruit. A cult of one member is only an unusual habit. I must have a recruit. There we go. All right, clerks file out in silence. Thank you for the money, sir. Keep going. Ah! What is happening? Okay. What hunger drives us? Exotic cravings? Do I have obsessions?
No. <laughs> no, I don't. Seriously? Hunger glows in my brain. Hunger for the knowledge the invisible arts might bring. Hell yeah. Alright, Jesus. Uh, old unhappy far off things. Moth finds the light in the dark, and so do I. Okay. This over here. The Watchman, who is the door in the eye, awaits the dreams. If I learn the lantern lore and I dream of this temptation, I can advance my purpose. The need gnaws at me. Okay. What's this? Restless? Restless longing has me. I feel that I want to do something. What exactly? Okay. And then we got this. I have founded my cult. Our rise begins. This is a step to greater power. Use your cult to recruit and promote followers. Talk with followers about your cult to send them about on cult business. Okay, we got a... Okay. So, we got Mirror of Glory. That is an occult society dedicated to the understanding of light that leaks from a fiercer place. You can use the cults with the talk verb. Use cults with the talk verb, to recruit or promote followers and send them out on errands to gather resources. A believer can be promoted to a disciple. A few gifted disciples can be exalted even higher to seers and can send them out on errands to gather resources. So my reason has dimmed. I can relate. What's this? Our business is private. We can use somewhere more secret. Like I was just, you know, a common room. Locations. Everything must be somewhere, and this is here. Okay, so that's our headquarters. We can do stuff with it. I can explore my headquarters? No, I cannot. Um, what, what do I want to keep in my cupboard? Restlessness? Vitality? Okay. Okay, could you maybe stop? Go to your studies. I'd say okay. Because we got vitality. I am a brim with vitality. If I devote some time to exercise, I'll benefit. Oh, oh, here we go. I dreamt of the rain, whispering in the eaves, tapping on the windows like an old friend, hissing prankishly into the chimney. It is difficult to be unhappy in the right kind of rain. Interesting. Okay, so you just keep going until you exhaust your passion. So I got contentment. I'm happy, I think. Defends against dread, but contentment doesn't last. Okay. Uh, I can be restless. Can I dream of restlessness? No. Well, okay. We'll keep that up. No. That's gonna gain notoriety. There we go. A half glimpse wistfulness has touched. A half glimpse wistfulness has touched me. And more restlessness. Okay. More work. Man, they just give me a dollar? How do I, uh... Where's diligence? Can I be restless? No. Can I tell send you to work for me? Can I send you to explore? Search the city. Crowded thoroughfares by die day. A fog-wrapped labyrinth at night. I'll set up minions in searching for opportunities. Go. Whoa. Exotic cravings.
Whoa, associate ceremony trappings. Interesting, what's the ceremony? Trappings? What does trappings mean? Proper sense of occasion, costume, consumes ingredients and influences, uses, but does not consume tools. Okay. So this is where the game gets kind of intense because we're uh, bouncing between all these things. I might have found somewhere unusual. Oriflame's Auction House. Oriflame specializes in curios, perfumes, taxidermy, specimens, and rare texts. To operate from cramped new premises now, since the destruction of the old by unexplained fire. Ooh, I can buy and sell play. Cool. So, I just need a tool. That's kind of the uh, synopsis I'm getting here. Maybe I uh, send you to go again. Until I have another use for you. There we go. My dread. Oh, restlessness turns to dread. That's awful. Uh, contentment. You wanna, you wanna sit tight here. The watchman, who is the door in the eye, awaits the dream. Waits in my dreams. If I learn the lantern lore and I dream of his temptation, I can advance my purpose. The need gnaws at me. Jesus. Enough with the restlessness. I can only take so much dread. Okay, so it consumes my contentedness. Lovely. It will destroy you when it reaches three dread. Okay. We might have to uh, dream of our passion again, because we need more of that uh, payment. I have found someone whom I might pay to enact regrettable necessities. Hire them. I do not want that. No. Thank you. I've grown stronger. I've gained health, but it'll be more difficult to gain health next time. Boom! I'm also a stronger physique. Okay. Reconsider your priorities or risk yourself in exploration of the kingdoms of sleep. I didn't do it. Okay. So I got two health. Can I study my restlessness? Generally sit quite still. Restlessness is rarely the ally scholarship. Well, that's hilarious, but okay. Well, how do I deal with this restlessness? Can I study my despair? might be possible with the right combination of influences to raise more power okay study my dread with with what like what do I need oh uh. Well, what do I need? Perhaps I can use my dread to strengthen my a dangerous influence. Interesting. Okay. Study dread with knowledge. Huh. Okay. So dread's just a problem. Okay, my passion's awake. Stream of passion again. Nah, let's study my passion. Go. Crap. Clerks file out in silence. Well, I'm not offering any notoriety. At least that's a thing. I have grown strong, but I must still devote my health to a day of work. Arms of bronze. To work, then! 55? Cool. I got plenty of time. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, ha, ha. 
Okay, I got all kinds of dread. But here we're, here's what we're gonna do. Better not. Must be careful the company I keep. Try it one more time. Well, hold up. Let's talk. Uh, discuss cult business. Let's try it. Subject. I might be able to take part of fools. My believer might be able to part fools from their treasure if they're lucky. Okay. All right. I've passed the time, but I've been inclined to tears and afterwards inclined to laughter. Meanwhile, the world continues. All right, we got a glimmering. Yeah. You can study scholarship? Okay. I'll hold on to it. Um. So study dread with dread. It upsets me that I can't do anything with it. Okay. I need that passion. You sleep in a room without colors. Bleach the sheets. Whitewash the walls. Dye my hair and paint my skin. Okay. What are you doing? The hunter has found no if a hunter they will use to create an upgraded evidence. It's meticulous. Okay. Now I'll just keep it up. I finished early. Here's my pay. Boom. I got nine bucks. Jesus, I can never make any money. Okay. Let's do it again. No. Let's do Glover and Glover again. I haven't been late yet. Yikes. Where am I at? How much uh, dread have I... <laughs> I mean, I got two, right? I've seen too much. I've seen too much. I think I might uh, die. Safe for now. My adversary is not enough evidence to bring the case against me. They found no new clues. Thanks. You know, could I just not have dread? Is that an option? Um. Oh, hope that's contentment. Color exists only where they're. Oh, okay. Look at the room. Lights my skin. Color exists only where there is light, and the wood, and the wood is the place where light does not walk. In the dream, I close my eyes and walk, stumbling, bruising my feet and knees. At last, the undergrowth before me grows too thick to pass, and when I open my eyes, I am adrift among black trees. Shadows flutter. My feet, my feet will know the way back from this place. A way of the wood. Ooh. A buzzing in the brain. Don't know what that is. So, in gi rum, imis nocti et consumi, snip, snip, snip. A second order influence. Apparent to the perceptive, instantly recognizable to an adept. This can be used in some rites to summon minions. And some minions will leave it lingering before they are destroyed. I've learned a path to the wood, a tangled darkness that grows in the walls of the Mansus. Though the Mansus has no walls, I can dream with this to return to the wood. Ooh, okay. If my dread doesn't kill me first, Jesus. Yeah, uh, passion's exhausted though. <laughs> Shit. Can I study this? Okay. No, buzzing in the brain should be used in the right. Oh, this is awful. Silence. 
I feel like my guy secretly dreads working. Sun flick flickers like shadow. Dreams ripple behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift into the waking world. Okay. <laughs> I was beginning to worry that my follower had arranged their own disappearance, but it seems their deception was detected. The victim was outraged, and my follower barely escaped alive. Uh-oh. You're... Uh-oh. You, you good? What's this? Wound. This one has suffered in my service. Do not count as followers. Can't be used as agents of assistance. They may die in the season of sickness. Use talk to treat them. Okay. Compassion or convenience? I have to heal them? Oh, you are expensive. Fine. Oh, I'm so dead. This is almost the end. Find contentment now, or it's over. I, I think I lost. Uh, I don't have contentment. How do I buy contentment? Oh, good. One dread just disappeared. Nope. Health? I should have used that first. Yeah, we got the, uh, or it's all over. I finished early. Here's my pay. Plenty of vitality. Try it. What's this? Tears, trace, and interludes. If I have a peculiar friend... Particular friend, now is the time to renew our connection. Okay. Mirrors are calm. The sun is steady. The glory recedes. I am sane, if that means anything. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead! <gasps> I just got instant contentment. That is so lucky. Okay, enough with the despair. Uh, how do I deal with this restlessness? I gotta. Wound is healed as much as it will ever be. A gate. Of pain and possibility remains. Can I talk out my restlessness? Can I talk to you about restlessness? No. Uh. Can I be restless? Please. I can't take the, uh... uh Oh, thank goodness. Sleep is long, dark ocean, but sometime, when we reach the farther shore, there's lamplight. Okay. Dream about passion. I guess that buzzing has disappeared. That's okay, I was worried about dying. Glimmering has evaporated. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> okay. We can do this. I'm ready to grow stronger. Use this lesson learned to your strength skill. Okay. I'll get a vitality and then I'll work there. Notoriety's not helping. Oh shit. That's bad. Hey, detective, come on. Sylvia, if you get me a arrested, I'm going to be so upset with you. Can I burn the evidence? You should learn from this guy. He can be come suddenly, instantly complete. Yeah. Uh, no, never mind. We're just uh, decaying into despair. Okay, good. I'm glad. still devote my health. Yeah.
Oh boy. <laughs> Still trying to like buff bulk out. Hoping. Jesus. Just a little notoriety. It's not evidence. Like Glover and Glover's not working out, but I gotta find a better way to make money. Uh -oh. Dreams of the Curios Behind the Glass. In the display case of the Impossible Museum, I always see the apple white as snow and hard as marble, a golden beetle in a stern box, a coy geometry awaiting my touch, a black envelope bursting with spring, a brass opera box for instruments of record and measure, and a storm in a tin. I always wake before I see the aisle's end. Cool. I do need more passion, however. Neglected my studies, but I got vitality from it. If I... I just need another glimmering. Yeah. How long did I got this? 174? Okay. First opportunity. What the hell was that? What do you got? I am certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere with the solicitor, with their superior, or even with the contact in the press. This is troubling. Well, that's not good. Tentative evidence? Hey. I need you to do things. Give me a second. What's this? A scar? Half-healed fistula? Not all doors are wounds, but all wounds are doors. Three scars of the same type will kill a mortal. Okay. Subject? Evidence. Go get it. My minion's talent for deceit is limited. And this is a difficult task. They will likely fail. Okay. Look, the evidence will disappear. Right? Can I talk to you about this? My minion lacks the edge aspect and woefully unsuited to attack the hunter. There is a small chance that they might succeed. Okay. Maybe not. I take it back. Can I talk to you about vitality? No. 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 Sure. Excellent. Now we study the vitality yet again. Go. Just keep going to work, just in case. I don't have diligence, though. Which is a bummer. Keep going. What are you doing? Enough with the dread. Thank you. Okay, passion, come on. I need you. And then I'll start working on my uh, scholarship. There we go. Passion's back, baby. Do I dream about passion? No, I study passion. I dream about health when it's ready. And it's ready. We're countering our despair. Money, less so. Oh, hey. Nothing then. Okay, fine. Just go explore. I don't got the funds for this. We're done with the, uh, we're done with the whole, yeah. I'm ready to grow stronger. Excellent. So, lesson learned, a lesson learned. Do it. We're getting turbo buff here. Clerk's file in silence, just keep it up. All right, just keep the work going. I don't need to futz with it. I gotta study passion faster. I might have found somewhere unusual. The strangely... Street strange by midnight, or moonlight. Oh. Can I explore? Come on, glimmering. Have I destroyed myself here? 
Surely not. Down I go. Ah! Okay. Visions pass me with pavane grace. A window over wood, a garden of ice, a shivering sun, a woman of glass. I return home with reluctance. Explore an uncanny tangle of streets by the light of the moon. Okay, that's awesome. Let's do it again. Uh, half glimpse wistfulness has touched me. God damn it. Okay. Oh, I got dread. I've levered up the floorboards and wriggled down snugly, and now I'm compressed beneath them like a hidden corpse. The air stinks of hot dust. My mouth is full of splinters, but this is the space below. Oh, good. I had a dream about digging my way. A subtle fracture, huh? Clouds part, walls creak. Old wounds ache. A six-order influence. Significant resonance corresponds. Can be used in some rites to summon minions. Well, can I talk to my lodgings? What is that unleashed? Okay. I just don't want dread. Can we avoid the dread? For the sake of anything else. Okay. The machine. My body ripples with power. Nice. A hardened physique. Lovely. What if I do this? Can I just use restlessness? No. Fine. Okay, wait, hold up. I need to study my passion. That's more than 23 seconds. There's no way. Crap. Okay, direction. I need to study something else then. How did I do the right? Talk, this, there we go. Associate, ceremony, trappings. Let's try it. That sounds cool. I need to provide an appropriate aspect of the cult, at least the seventh of intensity. Oh, this is six intensity. Shit, okay, fine. Well, can't I study this then? What do I study with? Like what I need, enough pressure. Oh, I need multiple of these things. Interesting, okay. I guess I'll just keep exploring. Man, I'm sure as shit not making money. Yeah, okay. My own heart pumps more strongly today. Nice. Um, visions pass with the Pavane Grace. It says achieve nothing. Evidence. Um. We gotta counter the dread again. Because it's consuming me. That's gone now. I'm getting sick again. Oh, crap. Ah! Half glimpse wistfulness. That restlessness is killing me. A subtle flaw. Laces uncoil, windows swing open. Moves. A second order influence. Oh, so it just gets weaker and weaker. Okay. I talk about this? No. I explore. Others speak little to me, but now they nod when I pass. Here's my pay. Did I get real pay? No. I'm just maintaining my money. Like, I can't lose it. Uh. Surely not. Okay, I need three lessons learned. I'm not going to pursue that too hard. 
Now let's say, no. After dream, I'm gonna dream the way of the wood. Uh, where'd that go? Okay. Imagine a box of mirrors where each mirror contains a sweeter light. Now imagine that in the seventh mirror, there's only an ordinary dawn, an ordinary bed, on, uh, the dull beginnings of an ordinary day. Imagine that and long for light. Fascination? Uh oh. Oh, hey, this is actually a. Uh... I'm seeing things. Paintings whisper, windows wink. I know these things are not true, but how can I be certain? You can defeat visions with dread or fleeting reminiscence. Otherwise, you will lose yourself completely at fa Fascination 3. Oh, shit. Ah! Can I study my fascination? Knowledge. Nothing, huh? Madness. Okay. I will dream of my fascination. Seek composure? The doors of vision swing wide. A rump. Okay. I will study this, just because I get it from time to time. Okay, my being ill is unfortunate, because that's going to consume a health. Shoot. Okay. Put this down here. Of just, you know, fleeting doom. No big deal. Uh, where am I at? Cold scrap. We're using that. I can talk about it? Talk in public? No, I don't want to do that. Explore. Mega buff, I suppose. This has really not done anything useful. Ah! Illness has damaged my health. No! I used up my vitality. Oh well. I can fix that. I don't really have much in the way of diligence. There we go. Okay, so that's happening. This is happening. Mirrors are calm. Sun is steady. Glory recedes. I am sane, if that means anything. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Doing that. Need to get bearings of what I'm doing. I need to dream. How are we on dread? Oh. Yeah, I get it. Impending doom yet again. A lesson learned. Thanks. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. Uh, this place merits closer investigation. Strathone's residence. The house of Mr. Strathone, collector of rare objects. Strathone will not sell his treasures, but a sufficiently cunning accomplice, my game... What do you do? What are you good at? Knock. Permits no seal or isolation. Thrust releasing into safely. Unseems barriers. Okay. If I were to talk to you about this. I mean, if I'm going to be you know, depressed and destroyed. I am going to, uh... Oh, yeah. Rivals are cautious. They don't prowl the streets like hunters. To defeat one, we must prepare a trap. Await the opportunity. Edge, forge, moth, winter are useful in creating snares. Once created, the snare can be used when independent... 
What? Well, I'll try it out. See what happens. If I'm to be consumed, I'll have my follower consumed with me. This is permanently eating my money. Oh boy. Come on, contentment. I will take the money. Thank you. Ah! Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck. Sometimes I have dreamed of a tall woman in a sand-colored coat who stands at the foot of my bed, smiling as she watches me sleep in that dream. She turns her head with the swiftness of a bird, and her fingers flex like talons. I do not think I dreamed of her last night. If I had, I could have slept so sound. I could not have slept so soundly. All right, we're dead. We got 1.3 seconds. Boom. It happened. No more. Despair. The wolf that devours thought. I am alive. Or am I dead? It no longer matters. I allowed the despair token to reach three. Or injury. Cool. Well, that was that. I think that is good for the evening. This game is awesome. A, uh, tell me what you guys think of this. I know it's a lot of me reading and a lot of panicking, but uh, I do like how eventually uh, it does lead to, you know, different cults, different insights. It gets really interesting. And we also get a uh, different stories. So we started as the aspirant. Next, I could probably start as like a doctor. So I can uh, start as the medium. I could be a priest. I could be a detective. And we'll tell a story there. So let me know. But uh, I'm going to call it quits tonight. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, I think. Uh, unless something comes up. But with that, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Yeah, I like this game. Yeah, take it easy, guys. Good night.